several people have taken uh, to Reddit to say basically it's impolite to take off a service charge if it's been put on uh, by a restaurant automatically because an awful lot of restaurants now of course will give you the bill and on the end of that bill will be an amount for service sometimes as much as 18 uh, percent generally speaking somewhere between 12 and 12 and 18 I think 15 sometimes as well um, let's find out from Anthony whether it's the right thing to do to add tipping on or whether you should leave it to the discretion uh, of the customer Anthony very good uh, morning to you morning Mike yeah I mean I have great sympathy for people that work in restaurants because it's a bloody hard job and you work pretty much every hour that God sends particularly those in the back room making all the stuff and and, mm. and those in the front of house who take a lot of uh, uh, unnecessary uh, nonsense from the from the from the customers um, I've always had this well, I lived in America for 10 years so I've always had the view that you two tip people uh, if they do a good job but I don't mind giving them a smaller tip if they don't do a particularly good job um, but some people seem to object in this country to the tip automatically being added so that you pay it almost without looking at it well I think I think what we do at the Greyhound is we put optional service charge on so it's up to the customer we always ask the customer are you happy with the service and generally they say yes right. and um, if they don't want to do it we don't object we don't chase them down the street and say where's the tip right. you know I think the thing is I've seen some of the, quite a lot of that reddit comments and um, it's saying oh there's a very high minimum wage they should be unhappy with that people can't live on the minimum wage no. you know if we want our industry service industry to be as good as a proper profession as opposed to waiters waiting for another job then we've got to pay them on a par with the chefs in the back of the house absolutely and what about the uh, the way that you do it i mean is it on the bill is it because now i mean I, i'm old enough to remember when you actually didn't get a printed out bill you just got a written bill um and then sometimes the the, the service was added uh, as an afterthought you know by hand or something like that but for a lot of people they don't really they look at the total they don't necessarily see that there's even service on there a couple of people have said oh i really resented it because i didn't find out until after i'd left the restaurant that i paid another 18 percent for the service well all i can say to them is read your bill you know, you don't go into a shop and they put any price on a piece of it. You know, you, you check the price of the of the item and yeah. exactly the same in the restaurants. Right. When you're looking at a menu, you know the price of the wine, the price of the food you're paying. And also and usually course. usually at the bottom of the menu it'll say an optional twelve and a half percent, which is what we do, will be added to your bill. Right. And the other thing that some people seem to nitpick about is is it fair to put on service on the on the drinks you know by all means put service on the uh, uh, the meal because you're delivering the meal you're literally carrying a plate but if you're selling on a reasonably good up uh, sort of upmarket uh, wine you're, you're you're marking it up quite considerably is it fair to put the service on that as well well it, that is slightly debatable well, uh, we've got a pub stroke restaurant more restaurant than pub and if someone goes to the bar and buys their own drinks we don't put a service charge on but right. if you've got a waiter carrying it, filling up your wine, filling up your water. Yes, we do put a service charge yeah. on it. Yeah. And I know that can be excessive if you're buying a £300 bottle of wine. Um, but it's it's one of those grey areas where we haven't, none it of is. us have made up well, our Well, it is, because as I say, listen, I have absolute sympathy and I would never ever criticise people like yourself who run restaurants or who work in them, because it is a really tough job. But some of the markups on the wine, I mean, I go to a very nice Italian place around here in London Bridge, which is fantastic, you know, very much red and white tablecloth, blah, 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 and a very nice bottle. I was with my son the other day, he fancied some red wine, we had a bottle of a uh, very nice kind of Chianti, and we thought, oh, this is quite nice, 55 quid, um, looked it up and we got home. 15 quid in the shop and that to me you kind of go hello that's 40 quid right off the top so you do it all right on that and that's where you make the money right yeah absolutely I, I do think in this country we have a very sort of mixed bag you know if you go to the states like you said you usually pay double the sales tax could be 18 20 percent you go to australia they don't expect a tip uh, asia basically you pay what you want um europe it includes the tip I, I do think we need some sort of ruling from government, whoever. My my view would be it should be all prices fully inclusive, tipping at your discretion. Yeah. So if you think you've got a bit better than the average, or you're very happy with your waiter or waitress, then I'd give them a bit more, you know? Because, yeah. I mean, like, when I lived in New York, it was a very clever system they'd have there in the bars where you'd go in and every third drink you'd get a free one. So you mm. kind of go in, and I used to fall for it every time, because you kind of go in, you'd have one, and you go, eh, have another one. And then you go, 
if I have a third, if I get if I one more, I'll get one free. And then suddenly you've had four, and then you go, no, that's, that goes the rest of the day. And then you stay for the next free one, then you've had six. Um, and then the wife's on the phone, go, when are you coming home? But, you know, it seems to work quite well there. The people don't mind tipping, and their tips are a lot bigger. And the people who do the waitering jobs seem to be much more professional because they're, they're, they're respected more. Yeah, I think that's right. I mean, unless you're in Los Angeles, where obviously they're waiting for that extras part to be called onto a film. Yeah. I mean, people do do it as a profession. I think that is the problem over here. When we had a lot of Europeans who were very professional mm. as as waiting staff, that was great. But we've got a lot of Brits, a lot of students, and it's just a it's just a job to give them some pocket money. And that that's another thing we've never got right here. We've We've always thought that service is a bit menial for the Brits. You know, we always left it to yeah. the Spanish, the Italians, whatever. Uh, and actually, this is one industry that, apart from maybe the sort of fast food chains, this is one industry that AI is not going to take, you know, take over. Right. There will be a job for a waiter. There will be a job for a chef. And, and I think treat it as a profession. 